Hi fellow web flowers. Are you struggling to find the right font sizes for your web design? On desktop, the size of your headlines looks great, but on mobile, they're either too large or too small. Instead of relying on your gut feeling for the right font sizes, I recommend a different approach. And be sure to watch the video until the end to learn what trick I use on mobile. So instead of eyeballing your headline sizes, I will show you two ways. The first one you can use when you work directly in Webflow and the second one is for Figma. So when you're working directly in Webflow, you can go to typescale.com and the first thing you will see is the option to set a base size. The default is 16 pixels, what equals one EM or one REM. When you are unsure, just keep the 16 pixels. Some designs also use larger base fonts, but for most projects, 16 is just fine. Smaller is not recommended for desktop in any case, yes. Um, for desktop, the scale major third is a safe bet. Uh, the scale factor of major third is 1.25. That means when the standard size of your uh, body copy is one REM, it gets multiplied by 1.25 to get the size for your H6. So this would mean your H6 has the font size of 1.25 REM. <laughs> Pretty easy, actually. Um, so if you count uh, from the bottom to the top, this would be the size for your H6. To get the size of your H1, you can add another font size here. Um, you could also define your H6 with a 1 REM. If you think um, an additional font size like this is uh, too large, here on the right side, you can open a preview uh, to see an example of your chosen scale. And by the way, if you find this video helpful, I would love to see you give it a like and a comment. I publish Webflow tutorials like this frequently, so subscribe to my channel not to miss any of the future ones. But now let's get to the second way when you are working in Figma. Here uh, you can use a plugin called Typescales. After you've installed it, you can generate your font scales with uh, just a few clicks. You can set the base size, like on typescale.com actually, and choose a scale and also a line height. Furthermore, you can tell it how many styles you want to have that are larger than your base and how many you want that are smaller. You can also tell it to round the values here. So um, actually pretty handy if you're working in uh, Figma, you don't want this uh, unrounded values all the time. And yeah, here's the result. But the problem is, when you're trying to use this font scale on mobile, larger headlines like the H1 or H2 will look way too large. So on mobile, you actually need to use a softer scale. Um, to do this, just use the plugin type scale again, choose minor third uh, with a scale of 1.2, and maybe even only five scales instead of six. And here you can choose a zero. The H6 for mobile is now one REM instead of 1.2.5, uh, 1.25 REM. And the scale for larger headlines is now 1.2. Have a look at the results. And if you want to know which class naming convention I use in Webflow, you can watch this video now. Thanks for watching and as always, stay in the flow.